transferring sigma or rather transferring Revit to sigma open a Revit drawing up this is the drawing uh, go straight into manage into project parameters and under the project parameters dialog box add a name called type code and this is a type uh, click and look for identity data and check all the boxes off and click OK and OK once again go into add-ins pull out the export to Sigma and element properties box out before you can do anything with it you have to choose an element in this case I'm going to use a choose a outer wall so it's blue click element properties the element properties dialog box appears look into type parameters for this particular wall we're looking for the type code navigate to the library you've made click here my library is on the desktop so I'm going to choose that one and number identity text uh, identity description before I do that I just click there I have to choose the uh, the setup was this one with the type code with the uh, library then go into primary elements choose the outer wall click OK and you can see the type codes in there and the descriptions in there click OK choose the next element this could be for example the, the roof go into element properties and type parameters again we're looking for type code we're going to use the same library but this time we're going to use the roof click OK and OK again finally we need to choose a window the window is now chosen element properties type parameters type code same library setup but this time we are looking for a window and it's this one here uh, click OK to that and we can see that it's in here click OK we now export to Sigma <coughs> we can clear this and perhaps give it a name test building make sure that type code is at the top here we can get rid of one of these they're the same here so delete that click OK go into units or rather stay here for a moment and make sure type code is chosen here click here under exported elements and check them off we have walls we have uh, down here windows and we have also a roof uh, click OK to that go into units now uh, in Revit windows are given as pieces so click P for pieces and the equivalent name in Danish is stuk stk once that's chosen click OK and now it should be exported to Sigma and here we see it um, if we look at the walls here or rather if we just click here break this down into the walls you can see in a minute in the ground floor there are these walls these square meters there's no prices on them yet first floor these amounts but no prices 
<clears throat> second floor, these amounts, no prices. Uh, looking at windows, we can see on the ground floor there are one of each of these, and on the first floor, these. And looking at the roof, if we click on the roof, we can see that these are the amounts on the roof broken down into these areas here. <coughs> to get the price, we click library, update, make sure that the, the library we're using is the one on the desktop as I used before. Click OK and then it should come in with some prices now. You can see the prices now for the roof are in. Uh, the prices for the windows are in and the prices for the walls should also be in here somewhere on the ground floor, first floor and second floor. So the total price is now in on this particular building and by scrolling down here we can see that we have the prices in. Apparently some of the walls have not been type, code, type coded. This could be for example the foundation walls and so on. But with the walls we marked and type coded we have a total price here of 1.399 including 25% VAT. That concludes this video.